What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my PlayStation collection. Let's get right into this. So my main gaming console has always been a PlayStation ever since I was a kid. I have in the past had a Nintendo DS, a Nintendo Entertainment System, and currently, yes, I do have a Nintendo Switch, but my main has always been a PlayStation, whether that was whenever I was a kid, a PlayStation 2, or currently me right now with the PlayStation 4, that's always been my main console is a PlayStation. So today I decided it's a great time just to go through my whole PlayStation collection, all of the games, all of the consoles, and just share all of that with you guys. So up first is the, of course, PlayStation 1. This is the version that I decided to get. I found it on sale on Facebook Marketplace. It was a great deal, I think $45. And this is the version that I wanted. Now, I think there was a slim version too. I just wasn't interested. Whenever I think of PlayStation 1, this is the style that I think of, and that's the style that I want to add to my collection, so I'm glad I did. With that, I did get two controllers. It wasn't the original controller where there's no analog sticks, but at least it did come with controllers to use for it and it came with a few games. One of them I actually left on the top of my shelf here. It's NHL 2000, I believe. I also got a wrestling game. I think it's SmackDown 2, which I'm also not gonna be sharing on camera just because all of my wrestling games are in a perfect spot on my shelf, and I don't want to take them all because there's a lot of wrestling games from my childhood. I have SmackDown vs. Raw all the way up to WWE 2K20, so that's about 15 plus games and then a bunch of older games as well So all my wrestling games are going to be leaving on the shelf and just talking about them The other PlayStation 1 games that I have is Crash Bandicoots. This is a very classic game It's a lot of fun I absolutely love playing it on my PlayStation 1 and I'm glad that it was included in the lots I can't remember the last time I looked up sold comps for it But it's a decent value for the price and I got included in lots we also have the first Gran Turismo game. This game's a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. And again, it is a decent value. I can't remember sold comps, but this was a lot of fun, and that's why I decided to keep it in my collection. Now, I do have a PlayStation 2 Slim. It's the silver version with two silver controllers. I have that hooked up currently to my TV because I do play the PS2 a lot. Mainly, I play the PS4, but I do play the PS2. And the only games that I have for the PS2 right now are my wrestling games like I just mentioned, and I'm not gonna be sharing those on camera. Now for the PS3, I do have it on the shelf here. I do have a PS3 Slim. I think it's 360 gigabytes. I always thought it was a 500 gigabyte one for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, and I do have a bunch of games from my collection. Now at one point I did have more games, but I did sell them whenever I was younger and I had the PS3. And luckily, for the most part, some of those I was able to purchase whenever I started reselling and buying video games to resell and add them to my collection. So I'm just going to go through the PS3 games next. Up first is NHL 13. This is the copy that I purchased back whenever this game came out. And by me reselling, I did find, I think it's a US exclusive um, of NHL 13. And it's hard to tell, but... The uh, Philadelphia Flyers jersey is foil, so it's a shiny orange as opposed to this one. You guys can kind of see it shines his jersey, which was really cool. That's why I decided to add it to my collection. Next we have South Park Stick of Truth. I absolutely love this game. It's a lot of fun. I also have the PS4 game uh, for the South Park game. It was a lot of fun. And I knew I wanted a physical copy. Back on the PS3, I bought more physical games. On the PS4, I have way more digital games than I do physical. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, this game here I've yet to play. It was purchased in a video game lot. I wanted to add it to my collection, so I did. It also came with, in the lots, uh, Undead Nightmare, which I also have yet to play. So both these games are great additions to my collection. Then we have Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide, which I can't remember. I think I played the first one on the PS3, and the second one here, Riptide, I never played yet. I added them to my collection, they were a great deal, and I'm glad, so I'll be able to play them on the PS3. I think I do have them on the PS4 in the Definitive, de the definitive Edition. Um, I'm not sure if that's like a remastered edition or not, but that will be fun to play on the PS4, and just save these for my collection purposes. Next. I do have Grand Theft Auto 4, 
and Grand Theft Auto 5. Of course, Grand Theft Auto 5 has been around for years, but Grand Theft Auto 4, I just liked different aspects of it. The only thing that I really didn't like is you can't customize cars. You can find cool cars and add them to my garage, but or add them to the parking spot outside, but they've always gone missing for me. Next is Fallout New Vegas. I've never actually played this game. I have it in my collection, being able to play it whenever I want to, but I just never played it yet. Um, I remember back on the PS3, I only played, I think, uh, Fallout 3. That was my first Fallout game. I absolutely loved it. I missed this game, and on the PS4, I did get Fallout 4. Next is Midnight Club LA. Uh, this game here was fun, but my favorite Midnight Club was on the PS2, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. It was just a blast. So I seen this on the PS3. I think it was the last Midnight Club game that came out uh, that Rockstar produced because there was a copyright issues with the names of the vehicles. And that's why in GTA, they don't use actual names of the vehicles because there's a copyright issue. Next is Far Cry 3. I actually beat this on PlayStation 4. Then found this copy out in the wild and decided to add it to my collection because the game was a lot of fun and I do like Fallout's. Next is, I think, a few Call of Duties. So, Call of Duty Ghosts, a lot of people hate it. This was, in my opinion, my favorite uh, Call of Duty game that I've played on the PS3. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, and then we do have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is the highest prestige Call of Duty game that I had back then. Me and my friends played, and then me and Mafi played a ton of times together, and it was a lot of fun. And then my favorite fighting game on the PS3 I still have in my collection. That is Fight Night Champion. Just a lot of fun, and I don't even think they make boxing games anymore. There's supposed to be a new one for 2021. I just haven't heard if it is coming out. And now I do have a PlayStation Vita. I don't have a PSP. I've been looking for one. I found a great deal, but it ended up selling before I could go and pick it up. Um, so I did get the PlayStation Vita. This is the PlayStation Vita Slim. Uh, so it's a better version, and I do trophy hunts on it. That's why I wanted to pick it up, because I do have games on the PS4 that it turned out whenever I purchased them, it included the free version for uh, the Vita. So I had basically purchased the PS4 version, it came with the Vita version. So I've been just picking up extra trophies on there and just having a blast with it. It's my first and only PlayStation handheld, and it's been a lot of fun to trophy hunt on that as well. With that, the only game that I have, physical game, is Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, which whenever I purchased it from uh, EB Games, it didn't have the cover art, of course, so that I will have to print out someday and put in it, but that is a lot of fun. Now we're just getting straight into my PlayStation 4. So originally I did have an original PlayStation 4 that was, I think, the second version. I ended up upgrading it to the PlayStation 4 Slim a couple years back, which is one terabyte. I do have a three or four terabyte external hard drive as well. So most of it is digital games that I have on the PS4 that I play and trophy hunt with. And that's stuff that I got from PlayStation Now, PlayStation Plus, and also finding deals on sale and playing games. I think I have over 200 games on that. I've already shared that in a previous video, but I don't think I've shared all of my... Uh, physical copies and that's what I'm going to be doing now. So we have of course NHL 16. You guys know I love hockey. I have NHL 16, NHL 18, and then NHL 20. Now for me, I know there's sports games. A lot of people don't like sports games. I like hockey. That's why I always get the NHL games, but I can't justify getting a sports game, let alone a hockey game every year. So every two years is whenever I get a new game. Basically just to upgrade the roster and see what's changed. And a lot of new changes are coming with the next game. So I'm really excited to get that. And then of course I have GTA 5. Whenever the PS4 came out, I did end up, and I purchased the PS4, I did purchase this game. It's a lot of fun. A lot more fun than the PS3 version, I must say. And the PS3 version, the servers are coming to an end, I found out recently. Next is Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn. This one here, I think I purchased for under $10 from EB Games. It was used. It's a lot of fun, a simple beat em up game and just a classic game to add to my collection. Next is Marvel's Avengers. This is a game that a lot of people hated on. I absolutely like it. It's just, I started playing it and then I stopped. So I do have to finish this. I know there's Guardians of the Galaxy coming out later this year. And I recently did purchase on the PlayStation 4 a digital version of 
uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which hopefully I'll get into before Guardians of the Galaxy come out, but I also do want to beat this game and finish it. And with these games here with Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and this game, they do have the PS5 version too that was included. So whenever I get the PS5, I'll have all of those games to play on the PS5 for the PS5 version. So I thought that was really cool. Next is South Park, A Fractured Butthole. Um, this is a fun game. It is a continuation of the game that I shared for the PS3, uh, Stick of Truth for South Park. This is a lot of fun. So Stick of Truth is more medieval uh, aspects of the game. This is more superhero based, so that was really cool. Next is a semi-rare game, and that is Deadpool. The reason it's classified as rare or semi-rare is because the music that, in it is, that is in it is copyright, so it's very hard to find this in retail stores. And online, usually they ask about $30 for this game. Next is Wreckfest. I bought this for $5 with a trade-in of an old controller. Um, this was a lot of fun game, basically like a demolition derby style game. A lot of fun to play online. Then we do have some Need for Speed games. I absolutely love getting Need for Speed. I love racing games in general. So we have the 2015 Need for Speed game, which I actually platinumed. It was a lot of fun. Then we have Need for Speed Payback. It was good. I think it was in Vegas. So it was a different aspect of racing. Not as good as the previous one, but still a lot of fun. And then we have Need for Speed Heat, which is in Miami, which I absolutely love. It's an amazing, amazing game. Next is my Uncharted game. So we have Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. This was the copy that came with my PS4, whenever the PS4 was released, they did make a remastered version of the first three Uncharted games and gave it in the bundle for the PS4 when it was released. Then we have Uncharted 4 and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Just like Far Cry and Far Cry New Dawn, this game here, The Lost Legacy, was supposed to be DLC to Uncharted 4 but the game was so big, they decided to release it as a standalone game instead of adding it as DLC to Uncharted 4, which I thought was really cool. Then we have Battlefield 1. I absolutely love Battlefield now over Call of Duty. Now, recently I did get a Call of Duty free for PS Plus, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which I've been playing a lot of with Jack. But Battlefield has always been, in my mind, a little bit more strategic, and that's why I tend to go Battlefield routes. I don't have Battlefield 5 on physical, I only have it on digital on PS4. Then we have UFC 2. I do have this on physical, but UFC 3 and UFC 4, I have them digitally on the PS4. I absolutely love the UFC games. They're a lot of fun and a lot more advanced nowadays. Then we have Fallout 4. I have not played this game in a long time. I absolutely love it. I used to, I think it was my first video game series on the channel where I made episodes of it going to different destinations and just playing the story mode. So that was a lot of fun. Then we have Minecraft. I haven't played this game in years. I got this free whenever I worked at Canadian Tire, a retail store for a bonus or something. I don't know how I got it. It's fun, I just never played it and don't like playing games like that by myself. Next is Thief, I picked this up used. I think it was only $5. Really, really fun game. It really reminded me of Uncharted though, but still a pretty decent game. I think I just did one playthrough and then I just left it in my collection. Next is two uh, Call of Duty games. We have Black Ops 3, which was awesome to play back in the day with uh, me and Jack. And then Call of Duty World War II. This is the last Call of Duty that I purchased. And I don't know if I'll purchase another one again unless they were to come out with Call of Duty Ghosts 2, which I'm highly doubtful of. But this is the last Call of Duty that I purchased. It was a lot of fun, but they just basically, because of the success of Battlefield 1, which took place in World War 1, Call of Duty decided to go a World War II route, which this was good, but whenever Battlefield brought out their next game, which they announced before this game was released, that it was going to be based in World War II, Call of Duty decided to jump the gun and make a game on it. This game was good, but Battlefield 5, which was based in World War II, was in my opinion a lot better. And the last PS4 game is Hunting Simulator. This game here, I don't even know why I decided to mention it. This is the first game that I bought uh, at Walmart after I purchased the PS4. It is a terrible, terrible game, at least in my opinion. So this is everything that I have 
in my PlayStation collection as of right now. I am missing the PlayStation 5, of course. I am missing an original PlayStation 1 controller, the one that has no analog sticks. That's what I'm looking for out in the wilds. And I'm also missing a PSP. But I am hopefully going to find some more PlayStation 1 games and some of the PlayStation 2 games from my childhood. There's some that I remember that I wish I would have kept, some that are more rare now, Simpsons Hit and Run, and a few other ones that I really would like to just find out in the wild and add to my collection, just the most part, some of the ones from my childhood, a lot of the time people are asking $30 to $40 for because they're considered rare now. So hopefully I'll be able to find those to add to my PlayStation collection. And also Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix, I'd love to find that, but a lot of people are asking a lot more for that. So at least I do have my wrestling games. Like I said, I have SmackDown vs. Raw for the PS2, and then all the way up through the PS3 and the PS4, all the way up to WWE 2K20, and then I have WWE Legends of WrestleMania and a couple other games as well. But all of those I'm leaving on the shelf today just because it'd be a hassle for me to dig those out to share them in the video for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, me sharing all my PlayStation video games, consoles, and basically my PlayStation collection. I'll leave this here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.